Man United have a new coach who will be taking over from Ralph Ranić at the end of the season. Eric Ten Hag, who has already shown how good a manager he is in his five years at Ajax, has got the United faithful really excited. Many believe he is the man to return United to their former glory. However, some Man United players are not very excited about the imminent change because Ten Hag's entrance into the Man United dressing room will most likely mean their exit from it. But just before we get into who those players are, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist and insider scoop. OneFootball is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Life scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the OneFootball app. So, what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the OneFootball app. Um, you're welcome. So who are these players who could be kicked out of Old Trafford following Ten Hag's resumption as Man United's head coach? Here are 10 of them. Number 1. Harry Maguire Of course, this was always going to be the first person on the list. As far as fans are concerned, the club's captain has been responsible for a huge percent of goals the club has conceded this season. And from the look of things, the new gaffer is not feeling him either. It doesn't seem like Ten Hag will be trusting Maguire to lead the defence, never mind talking about leading the team. Number 2. Anthony Martial Martial already has one leg out of Man United and it looks like when Ten Hag joins, he'll have both of them out. The Frenchman has failed to click at Old Trafford for some years now, which caused the management at the club to consider a loan move for him to Sevilla in January. It's unclear if Sevilla are interested in keeping him after his loan deal expires at the end of the season, but if they aren't, then Martial may have to find another club because he doesn't seem like he'll fit into Ten Hag's plans. If the type of players he's brought and used at Ajax is anything to go by, Martial would definitely not have a place in a Ten Hag Manchester United. Number 3. Marcus Rashford Now, prime Rashford would be a dream for Eric Ten Hag for sure. The Dutchman loves his attackers fast, skillful and with tricky feet. Rashford naturally has all these qualities, but the 24-year-old has fallen way off the mark in recent times. Some United fans who fell in love with Rashford when he burst onto the scene as a teenager are hoping that the Ajax boss can manage to restore the forward to former glory. But there's a possibility he won't even get the chance to, with the more likely situation being that Ten Hag would instead introduce new attacking talents like Darwin Nunes and Anthony. Number 4. Aaron Wan-Bissaka Wan-Bissaka used to be one of the guys at Man United who could do no wrong. He made so many brilliant and even goal-saving tackles game after game and was perhaps United's best defender way back then. Anyway, his lack of inventiveness going forward may be a huge problem for the new gaffer. It is the reason he hasn't been able to break into the England national team and it seems like it will be the same reason he won't get into Ten Hag's United team. Number 5. Eric Bailly Bailly has not really enjoyed a very good time at Old Trafford. He's been plagued by injuries and even when he's fit, he's most often not preferred. There's no doubt that Bailly is a decent centre-back, but he's pretty prone to defensive errors and is generally not the most dependable centre-back on the block. So we expect Ten Hag to sign a new centre-back, let Bailly and Maguire go, while he keeps Varane and Lindelof. But that's not all for the expected defensive overhaul. Number 6. Alex Tellez Tellez is also expected to leave the club at the end of the season. Ten Hag is pretty big on very impactful fullbacks and it would appear that Tellez just doesn't meet that standard. Number 7. Paul Pogba Pogba himself appears to be fed up with Manchester United and with his contract expiring in June, he might just walk out of the club for free for the second time in his career by the end of the season. Ten Hag doesn't look to be trying to convince Pogba to stay, with the Dutchman reportedly already in the market for potential Pogba replacements like Frenkie de Jong. Number 8. Phil Jones Phil Jones is just one of those guys in the United squad you look at and just know won't survive the impending overhaul. Injuries have kept him out of the squad for a good while, with the centre-back finally making a return to the first team in January. But his performances since his return don't look like they will be convincing the new boss to keep him on. Number 9. Jesse Lingard Lingard, just like Pogba, wants to leave. 
He's been on the bench for way too long and feels like he'll be happier elsewhere. He had that loan spell at West Ham where he was absolutely brilliant, but he came back to Old Trafford and the story there didn't change. Still, always on the bench. Anyway, Newcastle seem to be really interested in purchasing the midfielder and we think Ten Hag won't mind having that money in the bank to invest in the rebuild that he's hoping to start. Number 10, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, this is the one that has got the United fan base completely divided. Even with his 20-something goals for the club this season, some sections of the United fan base insist that Ronaldo is the problem at the club, while another faction thinks that's just a ridiculous statement. Now, we don't know what the new coach thinks of the five-time Ballon d'Or winner, but there are rumours that he may send the 37-year-old packing to focus on building a much younger and more energetic squad. Of course, he hasn't officially said anything about kicking out any player at all, but this statement he made after he signed was very bold and unwavering. I decide what task a player has. If someone doesn't perform his tasks, he will be made aware of that, no matter who it may be. I will not compromise on that. No matter who it may be. Hmm. Of course, you can understand why people would think that that was directed at Cristiano Ronaldo. But what do you think though? Will Eric Ten Hag kick out all these players? Particularly, will Cristiano Ronaldo be kicked out of the club he obviously loves so much? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.